we're back. Now we're in the Nasuratsu Warrens. Let's see if we can find anyone who can point us in the right direction. Oh! By the way, you have to have... So this is a CD-ROM that you have to pick up for a quest. This is B Tong. And you need seven inspection for that. Natural inspection, like... You know, like... For example, investigation three, perception four, or perception five, investigation two. Um, or, you know, what I have, thanks to my little background, which gives me a buff in inspection. That you need it naturally because you cannot use aspects here. It's a big pool of blood there. Hear the voices. Now you might have heard the, some of these voices when you were playing as a Malkavian in the unofficial patch. It is that, but these voices were in the original here in the Warrens, and I think they were meant to be Nosferatu, just hidden and tried to freak you out, and. Um, you know, originally you didn't have the voices in in the original version, but they must have, of course, Wes, I believe, found the the voices when looking for the game and having to fix it, and he had them back in. All right, so let's let's have a look around. Hello. <laughs> oh, you did not just try and run a trace on me. All right, take that. Oh yeah, 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 I hope you backed up that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting the love letters from the porn sites. <sighs> <coughs> um, hello? Wow. Oh yeah, hold on a sec. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> um, uh, hey there. Uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? <laughs> Maybe I'll come back here later. Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? LaCroix's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here, huh? Uh, surprised? What do you mean? I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that? I could have used some help up there. Nothing I could do from here. Those old sewer systems are wired with punch cards and vacuum tubes, built back in the technological dark ages. Sorry, but I don't do analog, newbie. <sighs> Whatever, I got a few questions. Go ahead. I'm looking for Gary. Yeah, he knows why you're here. LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. I'm just here to talk. Where can I find him? His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> Alright, I got a few more questions to ask you. Go ahead. Tell me about this place. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary, the big man on campus. He's running the show. The place looks pretty empty. There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> Ooh, great. Well, I have a few more questions for you, if you don't mind. Go ahead. 
Uh, tell me what you do. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep him close on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the ne network. Upgrade what? What were you going to say? <laughs> no, nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. Yeah, right. So what do you have to do? I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Maybe I can help you out. Yeah, yeah you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> I'm in. What do I need to do? Oh, I, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Cool. By the way, how did you end up here, down here, Mit Mitnick? Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time, <laughs> I emailed the president all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> but one day I ran across the system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up. But I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. Yeah, what was it? It was, uh, uh, those Falatu database. Not even a really important one, either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> and voila, here I am. How's life, uh, on life since then? Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna win any beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Yeah, that is pretty sweet, actually. That's a good attitude to look at it. Thanks for the story, but I'm out of here. <laughs> I like how he's just like, yep. I'm ugly, but whatever, I get to live forever and do all this cool hacking stuff. He does not mind one bit. Meanwhile, we have a contrast to that. Who got the cover of what? I mean, just look at her. Two fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? Slow down, cowgirl. Who exactly we're talking about here? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene, she'd still be a fluff girl at vivisection, making ten bucks a stiffy if I was still around. <clears throat> who the hell is Tawny Sessions? Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. That's a good one. Uh, who are you, by the way? Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. Just Imalia? What's your last name? Last name? God, that's so blue collar, it makes me want to puke! I don't have a last name. Imalia's a look, an attitude, a state of Uh, whatever. What's your beef with Tawny Sessions? Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. So, you hate... What do you mean Gary invited you? Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, 
have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. I see. So what happened? Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blanks. So, have you learned your life lesson? Yeah, the lesson is life is a cold-hearted bitch, so now I get to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down? I got it. Let's get back to Tiny Sessions. Why not just kill her? <laughs> God. Write this down, you better get some skin cream. That's mean. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Sounds cool. So what's stopping you? Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big fat ass. Hmm, maybe I could help you out. What do I, what would I need to do? I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. What else? Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the camera. What do you think you're going to see? Who cares? Sex, drugs, bad hygiene. Everyone gets a little dirty when the door is closed. Tawny's no different and probably worse than most. What's in it for me? Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? Fine, I'll do it. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. Thanks. I'll take care of it. See you. And I'll be sure to do it correctly. Oops. Actually, I want to make sure I have the right thing on. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Where are you? Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. I just need to talk to you. We are talking, but you aren't listening, boss. Where are you? Let's talk face to face. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? What do you want? <laughs> I want to stick your lovely face in a piranha tank. I want to apply an acid glaze to your sculptured body. I want to throw your pocket mirror under a thresher and watch you fetch it. But I'm no butcher, boss. Are you? I'm here about the iron car and sarcophagus. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. Why did you ask then? Because I like the sound of my own voice. <laughs> it's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. You're a long way from home, and neither the prince nor Isaac nor Nines have any domain down here. Treads carefully. Who are you? Show yourself. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Yes, come out. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> yeah. Behind you, boss. 
Boo! Who are you? What? You don't <laughs> recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Where's the sarcophagus? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Because I got rid of this, that shimizi for you. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn shimizi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? What's a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Tell me more. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. I see. Go on. You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown. I'll give you what you need. Deal. Tell me what I need to do. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Aren't the kindred at war with the Quajin? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Sounds dangerous. Got any advice for me? That thing behind that pretty face of yours is called a brain. If you want to survive in Chinatown, I suggest you use it. Or if all else fails, you could just use your pocket mirror to blind them. <laughs> But before I decide, I have a little proposal for you. How about that? You're going to love this. I have a photo of one of your boys feeding in public. What? It would be a shame if the prince saw this. Suppose we can make a deal. Do go on. I have the picture of me, and I'd be willing to trade it for something powerful. Let's see what I got. Here. That does look powerful. Here, take the photo. Nice doing business with you. Disappear, boss. No problem. We'll talk after I get your boy back. Later. <laughs> we got extra XP and I got stuck for a moment. Let's have a look at this item. You feel the crackling of power just by holding it. Nobody knows exactly who created this ring or where it came from. All that is proven is that when while wearing this enchanted hoop, 25% less blood is needed to sustain on life, allowing the wearer to go on longer without need, feeling the need to feed. Nice. That's going to be very, very useful for us. Okay. Bounce, bounce. Hmm. I am trying to decide what I'm going to do XP-wise. I feel like I could put up my pawns again, but I don't really want to just yet. Kinda wanna wait. Alright, let's just have a look here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So what I wanna actually do is you know, once I do Tawny Sessions the Tawny Sessions quest. Alright. Just gonna make sure my got my outfit on. And let's see. 
So I'm, I'm gonna have to use blood buff to help me out here. Um, uh, yeah, I feel like I might want to put up my uh, presence up to five because that will give me plus two in persuade, plus three to seduction and coercion. Now I'm probably going to actually want my seduction up. To, so that's gonna put my seduction up to seven. Now I'm gonna probably want it up to eight. So I'm probably gonna have to spend another point into subterfuge, but that's okay. That's good though. And that's like, yeah, that's like minus five. 40% to be mesmerized. Amazing. So that's gonna be great. Okay. Oh, I forgot to actually pick up something, but that's okay. We'll we'll be uh, picking it up later when we uh, talk. Go back to Amalia. But first, all right. I want to save here. Actually, just make sure. Did I think here. Yeah. Okay. No, that's the wrong one. Um, I want to save here because I don't want to make a mistake. She does mean it. She wants it exactly done how exactly she wants it. So, let's have a look at the quest. So, let's have a look at Amalia. So, she wants one in the bedroom, one in the bathroom, and one in the kitchen in that order. So, that's going to be a bit tricky. But that's okay. We, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm going to do it in the order how it is kind of suggested in the, in the quest. Because I wasn't sure if that was... I'm not sure if that's the best way or not. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh no 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 no. It's a boyfriend. So the boyfriend actually likes to go in the bathroom. Oh no. Okay, he's just going back in. Alright. That's eight, so we lose a point of humanity. That's okay. Um, again, I'll be boosting my humanity. Through, uh, Dancing and some quests. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't see us. Alright. Oh, he's just going to the loo again. Alright. So. One in her bedroom. Okay, so then we want to go to the bathroom, but we need to wait on that. So while we wait, we might as well rob her bank account. <laughs> and we want to do it here because unfortunately we won't uh, have a chance to do it any, any other time. Hashtag DSPD. Okay, no, I do need that. Okay. Is it, is it, is there a down one? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. VD. Yes. PD. Uh, am I doing this wrong? Oh, it's a V. Durr. That's why. That's my problem. Durr. Oops. <laughs> That was my problem. See, sometimes I can't even read my own handwriting. It's fine though. There we go. But this is totally worth it. Is this is like uh, I believe this is like nine hacky you need? Seventy-five. I thought it was higher than that. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. Please tell me he's not in the bathroom. Oh, because he's not in the bathroom. Okay. I'll just 
just hide over here. In case he actually needs to go yet. Okay. Fuck. Well, we better, uh, very low there, because he, he actually need to go. Okay. We're good. Okay, so we only have one more camera to put in. And that would be in the kitchen. And Tani sometimes is in the kitchen. So we're going to have to take that into account. He's on the fucking phone again. Great. Okay. I think we might have this episode be kind of short. This is a nice amount of money. Because, uh, we got 375 now. Well, I'll have to pick up my money at the... Okay, so I'm just going to quickly be careful. Okay. She didn't see me. Fantastic. Okay. We're good. And as some might say, why aren't you using your abilities? Um, I, I find, I mean, the first time I did it, I felt like it kind of screwed everything up. Pat. Tra. Cam check. Okay, free cameras detected, nicely done. I can't wait to see the dirty little Tawny in action. We're monitoring you from here. Get out quietly and come back. Okay. And I just lost some blood, but it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay. Good, she's in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, as long as I haven't fucked this up, she won't yell at me. Okay, I'm gonna keep crouched. I just feel safer when I keep crouched. Okay. That's what you might be saying. Is there a money clip in there? Um, I don't know. Never checked. I'm sure there might be, but... There isn't always a money clip. Alright, you know what? Um, let's see. I think we can spare like 10 bucks. I can find a sex worker. Here we go. Hey. Yeah. Ooh. Well, mmm. I'm just doing this for safety's sake, because I'm I don't want to get damaged. Also, we don't want to potentially frenzy, because our money's low. Is low, so we're, we're losing about 30 seconds on that. So we would like to get our humanity up. Um. So I think obviously once I. So I think once I've actually, yeah, so hopefully once I've actually completed that quest, uh, there's going to be another. Um, yes, yeah, so that's fine. Don't worry about it. Like I said, we're going to get more money. It's not that big of a deal if I spend any. Boing! <laughs> Okay, again, hopefully we haven't screwed up. I don't think I have. I think I've done a pretty decent job. And we need that 300 because um, she does actually, you know, she does give us a nice money, but we're going to have to spend some of that money for the next quest. As, yeah, provided I haven't screwed up, I'll have to kind of restart. Be kind of annoying. 
And by the way, we're gonna lose more humanity. So I really will have to do some dancing soon. All right, let me uh, let me just show you what's in here. So again, I got Inspector Seven, so I got an upper blue blood pack. I just need. I only have. Okay, hopefully. Uh, no, let me in. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> Did you see the papers? She killed herself. Can you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It couldn't have been more perfect. You made me sick. Of course, I'll take the money you owe me. Here, you definitely earned it. Thanks. See ya. Oh my god. Tony Sessions, supermodel caught in Frieza with boyfriend, Llama. What? Okay, but damn, oh my god, okay. I guess we lose humanity for ruining a person's life. If you're on my good side, then don't come back here until you've got last year's copy of Guy magazine where I'm on the cover. You know, the one where I was wearing the gum wrapper and the two bottle caps. Fine, I'll find one and bring it back to you. See ya. Well, we'll do that. Yeah, normally she gives you that quest when, um, in vanilla, she gives you that quest if she, you piss her off. And you don't really get any XP, but they kind of changed it in the unofficial patch. Alright. Darn it. So awkward. Yeah, man, look at our humanity. Our humanity is low. We need to get ourselves some dancing. Yeah, so I think, um, <laughs> we need to do some good deeds soon, because we've been a very, very bad girl. So I think, yeah, once I finish the... Try to get up there. It's weird. Okay. I don't know what the hell is that. Um, I think once we've, um, done her quest and Mignick's quest, I'm actually going to cut it and do some dancing and we'll come back because I do need the humanity because I am going to lose some humanity <laughs> I am really am I am seriously going to lose um, another point of humanity but we can get three more points uh, in Chinatown provided I do everything right so okay um have to decide if I'm Yeah, so I, I just need six more points and I can get uh, Presence 5. And some might say, why would I even bother getting Presence 5? Well, it's, uh, it's why I just realized I need to go in the sin bin. Um, Alright. Let me just save. Finally, you should make a girl wait like that. You seem to still seem a bit weak. We'll continue later. Darn it. Yeah. She still needs some more blood, I think. Maybe for that, she's just... Something. Oh well, I'll just pay someone to... Give me some blood. Is there someone else I can... Uh, I've already fed that one. Fed that woman. Anyway, let's just get the magazine. Uh, we need to let Isaac know about the fact that we've taken care of Shimizu. What can I do to you, honey? I have a few questions for you. Yeah? What do you want to know? I'm looking for a certain copy of Guy magazine. Sure, pal. You want this month's issue? Tawny Sessions is on the cover wearing nothing but scotch tape and a pair of gym socks. Tempting. But I really need last year's issue of Amalia on the cover. I'm sure you do. Everyone wants a copy of that. She went missing last year and no one knows what happened to her. That one's a collector's item, honey. Gonna cost you a pretty penny. And that Tawny Sessions one is going to cost- is going to be a collector's item, too. Great, how pretty. I don't know. That Amalia was quite a piece of rump roast. 
I never wanted to be a gum wrapper more in my whole life. I couldn't part with it for any less than 500. 500? I'm a regular now, Flint. Here's 200. Hand over the magazine. <laughs> Here you go. I'm sure you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Thanks. Hey, hold on. The pages are stuck all stuck together. Huh? They are. Oh, man, that's uh, weird. I, I don't know how that could have happened. Someone must have uh, spilled something on it or, well, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Whatever. Yeah? Ew. <laughs> Ew, Flynn. Ew. <laughs> Jesus, this guy is gross. <sighs> what do I expect, though? What do I expect? <laughs> Alright. Well, let's go back to Amalia. She better... Well, actually, she, what she gave me kind of covered what was, you know, the 200, but I kind of want more than that. kind of want something that would cover this, but never mind. I'm sure you can get it cheaper if your barter was higher, but that's how high you get it at uh, barter 7. And luckily, I have tons of money anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I guess we could always feed on another blood doll. We'll do it when we get back to downtown. I think we're okay. Yeah, I'm trying to just feed on blood dolls right now. Alright. Okay. Oh, darn. Okay. You already been in here, right? Yeah, I already been in here. Good. Here's the magazine! <laughs> Look, I found the magazine you wanted. You did? Oh my god! I can't believe you found it! I've been trying to get a copy of that for years! Come on, it's gotta be worth something. Well, yeah, I guess. It's against my better judgment, but I guess I'll give you a little something for the effort. Take this. So maybe we can have a little powwow. Can I ask you a few more questions? Sure, whatever. Tell me how you came to be here. Nosferatu do have a sick. Oh yeah, she already told me that. Uh, I see. Well, I'd... Yeah. Bummer. Well, see you later. All right, I just need five more XP, and I am good. Now you might say, why do I want to have Presence 5? Well, besides the fact it's a really great debuffer, it's... it's Again, it's going to give me plus 2 in Persuade, which will make it 9, and, you know, plus 3 in Seduction is going to make it 7. I just need to buy one point of Subterfuge, one more, which will be 6. So, overall, I just need 30 XP, which, from here, is just 11, but... We're not going to go into that right now. I think having some presence is really useful to have. Alright. Okay. But let's go back to Isaac. Actually, I better... Uh, I don't know if my blood doll is in the ass pole is actually ready for me to feed. But yeah, once I've uh, done these missions, I'll probably, I'll probably, uh, you yeah, know, you know, cut it. Yeah. So once I, I think I've already, you know, already stated my intentions. You know, once I've done these final missions of Hollywood, except for the gargoyle one, I'm still waiting for that one. Um, obviously, I'm gonna go and uh, take care of. I'm just gonna stop and then get my humanity back up to six. 
And then we'll, uh... Do we Isn't there a sex worker? Yes, this is a sex worker here. Come with me. Hey, honey, look. Okay, so I could either do this. You can hear your heart beating. Let's join together this night. But I think I'll pay for her. Ooh, I don't get to do well. Mm. Oh, okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, if you get your serpentinas high enough, you are able to get people to be utterly okay, impassioned and interested in us. I guess really fully corrupting our prey. Okay. That's good. Nice. But we're here to indulge in many delicacies. Can I just make anyone do that? Let me let me let me have a little, a little check. Um you are Never mind. Start to Isaac. Evening. Kingsway, there was a shimizi. Notice I've used past tense. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Thanks, Isaac. I appreciate it. I had another question. Certainly. Tell me about Ash. Ash. Where do I be? I hadn't seen once ever. I acted on it devas He feels up certainly. Okay, he's not gonna talk about Velvet, that's sad. Um when he talks about Velvet, um he's like, Oh, she's really alive and things. Which is kinda nice. Like he's just like, my goodness, she's so alive, and like unlike any other kindred I ever know. Alright. Eater. Yes. Downtown. I don't know if it's oops, sorry. Uh, I don't know if it's likely we're gonna rob Strauss, so... I think it's only like a hundred, two hundred dollars, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, let's go and, uh... Oh, actually, let's go talk to Venus, but let's actually sell our shotgun. And I think our other gun, too. We don't need it. Baby. Should, hmm, what should we sell? I think we should sell these. Don't think we're, yeah. Sell this too. Oh god, that really actually freaked me out. I thought it was gonna crash for a moment. <sighs> anyway, he sells this if you ever need it, but again, we are not gonna bother getting it because we can get it for free. I don't know. I don't know. 75. Fantastic. Oh no! The elevator button is not freaking working! Darn it! Oh god, I hate when that happens. That's a glitch. Uh, we're gonna have to take the back way. That is so annoying when that happens. Ugh. Sorry about that. It rarely happens, actually it never happens in the unofficial patch for me, but it does happen sometimes in the final nights. Alright, so that means we're going to have to go through the back way. I'll just put this down here. Oh, we're just going to be stealthy stealthy because that security guard is going to cause us problems otherwise.
I know we could have opened Simon's box. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something. Let me try something. Alright, well, let's. let's I'm thinking about talking to Heather, but I don't really want to talk to her while I'm having a low humanity. Okay. So. Let's see. Is that seven or eight? I think it's like seven. Two hundred. Okay, oh, that's okay. We're at the limit. Oh, okay. So once you're at humanity four, you don't have to worry about losing humanity when you're stealing. Uh, I don't know if it's the same for hacking, but it's certainly that case for stealing. Fantastic. Alright, um, I am going to save. And yeah, I'm just going to save for a moment. We'll see how we interact with Heather. I could feed from her, actually. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more. Please, Master. Just a few drops. Yes, of course. Come here, my pet. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Amazing. I feel so much better, like I'm the most important person in the world, next to you, of course. Isn't that cute? I'll see you later, Heather. Master? I need your blood. Now, I want to be nice at her, but... Alright. Okay, emails. Oh, we got some more emails. We're kind of losing our humanity here. The cost. The cost of an attack is often paid later. Ah, first hub. Okay, Bitnik here. I got the f information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal is in the Santa Mon is in Santa Monica, in an old place called Megahertz Computing. I'll send over enough. I'll send another email with. Econ. Power up the terminal and find the net security folder and run on the fo run on the folder and the and run on the folder the password uh, uh, yeah sorry well and run the Shrek net command. The password on the folder is Gil Bates. Don't ask. I'll message you when you s when I have see the hub activated. Megahertz com computing is at the end of the second street in Santa Monica next to the asylum. Only entrance is through the back door. Entrance. Through the back door, so you'll have to find a, an alley to get back there. I'm leaving you a key for the door in your mailbox. Good luck, kid. This one should be easy. Okay, so Bertram has emailed us. So, if you're you're reading this, I guess you're still among the undead. Got a proposition for you. If you're not too busy, you know where to find me. Won't be too difficult this time, Bertram. And then we got one from Phoebe. Sweet kindred, thank you again for all you did for me. I want you to know that I meant it when I said I adored you. You made me feel that the world was not so was not nearly so dark and desperate. I hope to see you again in my club, and in my dreams. All my love, Phoebe. And she gives you that if you have been very extremely polite to her or been seductive to her. Okay, so we got another one of these. Mm. Let's get downstairs. That means I could rob more. Hmm. I'm actually going to check if I can rob Venus's computer because I could really use the extra XP. And I can also rob uh, David Harris' computer too. Because again, I need that extra XP. Alright, so we have to remember to not forget the keycard. <laughs> Because sometimes I do that. Sometimes I forget the key card. 
it's in the mail. This again might be another extra long episode. Alright, let's take this. Alright, you know what? We weren't going to rob Velvet, uh, Venus's computer before, because, you know, she's our business partner, or, you know, there's no real point. Did I get the money? I think I got money. Let's ask again. Money, huh? Been a while. Oh, you got more? Oh, yeah, I didn't get it. Alright, so I'm just going to save here. We're going to be robbing... Some more people. online base. So I'm gonna just show you how much you need. I only have two at the moment. So you need five. If you ever want to do it. Hold on. So pick it. Ooh, I think you know what? I'm gonna wait on that one. You'll see. Hey, I'm actually- I'm gonna actually be a good girl for once and not do that. Well, not cheat. But first, let's go to Santa Monica. I think we can do it. Alright, but I am actually going to buy those computer books, because I have a nice surplus of money and I think I'm pretty good. I think I'll I can get exactly what I need and still have extra. So, let's go to the pier. And then we'll go and go to Bertram and let him know that we have his money. I think we'll rob Kirkpatrick too. Yeah, I probably could have got those computer books earlier, but hey, I didn't know I was going to be doing that. Let's just say, let's have a final visit to Jimmy Reed. Since I'm really not, since I'm very unlikely to talk to him again gonna love what we wanted from him. Yeah, sure, honey. Yeah, thank So I guess if you wanted to go on a hacking and, you know, stealing spree, you want to have your humanity at four, so it doesn't really matter and you won't lose any more. Yeah, sure, honey. Yeah, thank you. At least I think that's the case. So you really didn't lose any. Alright, so yeah, okay, we have our hacking at four. Okay, great. And then I just I talked to Bertram and he's gonna give us a third hacking point. Now, if you were uh, I guess if you were gonna play a hacker, I would either save Bertram's three point for your fifth point or your fourth. But I'm not gonna do that. So you would pay like six points for that, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna make sure our humanity is not too low either, because uh, we don't want our humanity to be too low. I mean, not too. I mean, we don't want our blood to be too low. I mean, we also should actually visit Mercurio, because I keep meaning to ask him about well, what his opinion is. So I'm just looking outside my window. Yeah, a little freaked out for some reason. No, oh, never mind. I'm glad you're here. I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. 
I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. Gonna be back there soon. I might be. What do you need? I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me, and I'll teach you a thing or two. Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, from the sound of things. Sounds good. Hmm, great, great. Go to the Warrens, then find the data CD. Don't bother asking around for it. I've already made a pest of myself about this. Just find it and bring it back. I already did. Here you go. Ah, excellent. Now listen up, fledgling. You might want to take notes. Damn, you know a lot about computers. Thanks, see ya. Okay. Now we got five hacking naturally. Pretty nice. Alright, uh, okay, let's just save quickly. Let's talk to... Well, I'm not gonna talk to anyone. I'm just gonna loot. Patrick. We might as well loot him. That's it, damn it! Get the hell out of here! You're so sexy when you're angry. Well, uh, you know, I, uh, I get told that a lot. <laughs> Come here, I want to show you something. Ooh, I didn't know we could do this. Nice. But well, he's gonna just forget about all about that. <sighs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we didn't lose anything, of course, because we already have everything. So that's like, uh, sweet. Oh, that's gonna be good. So you could intimidate him, you could persuade him, you could use your serpentinus, or you, if you're a female, seduce him. Now, yeah, this is the map that was the abandoned radio shack in War Games. So, I'm just gonna go into vent, turn on the power, and then get the computer working. So that's something you could do. If you're going to loot somebody, you want to make sure you have the right stats to persuade them out of them being angry. Okay, net security. Oops. Nice! Got the first one done, and I didn't read it. Darn it. Never mind. Um, basically it says, oh, great work. And that's, again, eight. If you wanted to. Unlock it from that way. Which I don't, because there, you know, it's there's a cheaper way to do this. Alright, let's go and talk to Mercurio. Oops. Alright. And now I can go this way. Dirt. Oh my gosh, there's a hunter. Oh my goodness. We can handle her, but... Still. Whew. Scary. I mean, we eat hunters like that for breakfast. So yeah, as I've said, um, the computer is not here if you... I took a trip to see a friend of mine. He's a quartermaster down at a police station in OC. Guy's been miffed about a pay freeze, so he's agreed to start filling my wish list for a cut. Got a SWAT rifle out of this trip. Interested? Headshots were the last thing missing from my life, and there's... I had a few qu has some questions first. Concerning? People. Who exactly? Nines. Nines? I never actually met him. But I've been hearing about him for years. His operation's crude. But those Anarchs are mad dog vicious when they need to be. Said he's full of them. They're none too friendly with the Camarilla, so be careful around him. Who exactly? 
The sheriff. Big, silent, stone-cold palooka. Never seen him in action, but I hear things. Here he's the last thing you see if you get on LaCroix's bad side. Say he fights like the devil. Not the kind of guy I'm gonna look in the eye, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Who exactly? Isaac. Isaac's a cool customer. Got that old school, no nonsense kind of swagger. Not too many like him anymore. He wears his animosity towards the Camarilla on his sleeve. Shame. Guy like that could have been an asset. Yeah. Who exactly? The Kuei Jin. Ah, you're talking about the Kuei Jin. Like you types, but different. Anarchs had just finished fighting him when the Camarilla came to town. Let me give you some advice. Stay out of Chinatown till they raised our flag in those parts. I see. Uh, I had questions about something else. Concerning? Places. Specifically? Hollywood. Hollywood's been good to me. A lot of my business comes from Hollywood. A guy named Isaac runs the show, real legend. Camarilla's got no presence to speak of there. Stop by the graveyard. Good customer of mine works it. Ah, oh, nice. Concerning? Specifically? Chinatown. I don't go down to Chinatown. Nobody who does comes back. Something going on down there with the Kuei Jin I don't understand, nor do I need to. Stay out's the best advice I can give. Alright, I need to buy some things. Alright, so this is the gun he was saying. This is a rifle. Sniper rifle. Pretty cool, but I don't want to get it. I can't remember if you can get it somewhere for free, but I'm not going to bother. And again, this is how much this is. We're not going to sell it, though. So I'm having a little itch of my chin. Itch of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Alright. Let's, let's not screw around. Let's get out of here. Let's get back to downtown. I mean, I could kill that hunter, but... I don't think I've seen a hunt. I... I think I have seen a hunter in downtown, but I just don't remember where. Going somewhere? Downtown. I'm gonna pick up our money. Oh, oh, darn it. Don't do that. Yeah, that's a glitch. Anyway, actually, I'm gonna. Well, we can't pick up our money until we've actually hacked our computer. Alright. Okay, now we're ready to Because I'm going to be a girl. I do have it available for it in my list, but I'm going to show you how Nice. She only has like 25 bucks. So yeah, we should be able to get our presses up to maximum. Now some of you might be wondering what would happen if I get my Serpentinas to do it, but I'll show you. So yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just, you know, show you a little test. Alright, let's just grab my cash. It's only like 25, it's not a big deal. It's not a huge deal for me, but... Still nice. Still nice to have. Okay, so this time, this is where the stealth actually comes in. Nine lives. Celebrity Ash Rivers walks away from deadly crash. Interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot to put this away. And this away. Don't need that stuff around, because that's kind of evidence. Oh, we got free emails, huh? 
second network hub. The next terminal is in the basement of the Nocturne Theater in downtown. Recon to follow. No one could know you were there. Stay out of sight and no killing. I need you to set up a wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and it's activated, log in to the network folder, password break a leg, and run Shreknet. The Nocturne Theater is downtown, just across from the Empire Arms Hotel. I couldn't get a key to the front door, so you'll have to enter through the sewers. Sorry, that's the best I could do. I put the camera down in your, in your mailbox. I had an operative scope out there, scope out the joint beforehand, and he marked the best place for the camera with a red X. Find it, it's probably somewhere, someplace high, and mount the camera. Once you've put it in place, log into the terminal downstairs and find the camera folder and activate netcam. You won't be able to activate the hub until the camera is in place. Great. Good to know. Okay. Now I could actually buy that shitty uh, thing. Uh, was it Digita? And have that bonus to stealth, but I think I'm gonna wait on that because I think you can get one for free in Chinatown. And that would be useful for later. Alright. <sighs> Alright, let's go to. This sewer grate, which is going to be helpful. I think my plan after I get my presses up to five is probably save up for either to put up potence up twice or to put up my dodge twice. So um, when I get my fifth scholarship point, I will be able to I would, you know, so I'll be able to, you know, get maximum dodge, which will have me a seven. I believe, yeah, seven. Uh, no, it's not seven. It's like six defense. But I might decide not to do that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So yeah, this is gonna be a long episode. Apparently, I want to do extra long episodes. Annoying to climb up to, but we can do it. Alright. That would be too bad. Alright, so that's where it is. And again, we're in the Nocturne Theater. We were running around a little bit when we went to the Paris Opera. I guess we were literally right there on stage. Almost getting our head cut off. Those were the days. Alright, let's see. Fantastic. Let's just get past him. Seriously though, I don't really need to actually put my uh, dexterity up. I mean, it's only for a couple of things I could actually get out of it, and I really don't need them, but it could be useful. Okay, so you're a regular Jane's bod. Check your email soon. I'll be in touch. Mitnick. Okay, again, we gotta be careful because we, again, no one can know we were here.
So I'm just gonna hide in there. I'll wait for that guard to come. Give me a little stretch. Well, wait. And once we've dealt with this one, we're gonna go to Hollywood and uh, hack David Hatter's computer because. Might as well just take his money, too. For sure, why not? And, uh... Do the hub in the Hollywood hub. I think we've done... Pretty much... All of the computers by then. All the computers we can loot from, as far as I know. I tried to find the one in the museum, but I just couldn't see it. I will say, I've said this before, but I really would have liked to have had a, a unique quest as a setite. It would have been super fun to have. Because then I would feel like, oh, this feels even more unique. I mean, this extra ability that, you know, I have that's basically dominate is really helpful and really cool. It really makes me feel like a, a temptus, temptress setite. But, I don't know, it's just like, more, really. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to my apartment for the other way. So I can just go straight down to my mailbox. Apparently I'm just super into just doing super long episodes. But, yeah, I would definitely like to know if there are any more terminals that I can hack. Because that would be super helpful. To know in the future, because I probably won't be able to hack it in this playthrough, but... It would just be handy to know. Master? Uh, she hasn't got any blood for us. Oops. Uh, seven. Sorry. Third network hub. Recon. Not a lot of time right now. Gotta make this quick. Metal Head Industries, Hollywood. Warehouse. Operation. Key is in your mailbox. Set up the hub. The terminal is in operations. Back of the warehouse. Top of the, some stairs. Probably locked. Electronically. Work the problem. They got they're gonna have tight security but you gotta keep it dark. They can't know you were there. Same drill. See ya. Yeah, unfortunately he doesn't have a passcode for us this time. So if you were playing this normally you would want to have an actual password. You, you need some actual hacking skills. Let's see if we can do it with our current one, but if I can't, I'll just do it you know, normally. So you need some stealth and hacking. Alright. There we go. But I think we're going to hack David's computer first. Ah, here. actually requires more hacking than that. 
I think any computer. Actually, you know what? I think any computers that have twenty-five dollars, it's like five, and then maybe anything at six might be six or seven. Actually, no, because like seventy-five seems to be seven XP. I forgot to mention that um, Jeanette's or slash Teresa's computer is seven hacking to hack. Um, Velvet Valores is nine. So you really want to invest in that. Alright, let me just. Alright. Okay. Okay, we're okay, we're okay, okay, okay. Okay, quickly close that door. Operations. Let's see if we can hack it. Ooh, I, yeah, we can hack it. Okay, so that's at five. Unlock. Oops. Door unlocked. Rock on. Fantastic. Okay, great. Uh, safe. Oh, yeah, we, we can't unlock it. So that's eight. Turbo lover. Next security. Yeah, no, yeah, like that. Six. So you need six for that. Oops. So this is where you actually start needing to have um, actual skills. Bang your head, shirk on it. I'm impressed. Now get out quietly. I'll send you an email soon. Midnick. And we got hundred dollars. Of course, if you were playing the unofficial patch version, there's a rubber ducky in there. Hey, who's there? It's okay. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. These boxers are Gonna be a pain. Phew, okay. We're out of there. Alright, so now we've done that. Yeah, so we just got one more instruction, but let's go. Uh, let, me, let me go to the aspo and see if that blood doll is still good. Finally. And she's still weak. I wonder if there's like a quest thing or if she's just like a one time only one. Alright, let's let's go to David Hatter. Again, I'm sure there's like ways for you to supplement that hacking, you know, like through aspects. Deb's back and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to Alright. Online banking. Let's see. Yeah, no, 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 no. Not gonna have to do this one. You need eight. Damn, okay. I wanna remember, he doesn't have that much. He's like 50 bucks or something, but could be wrong. Uh, sorry, my brain is just. Get out of here before I call the cops! Oh, buddy, I was just checking my email. Relax. Hmm. Let's hope so. Later. Night eating you? 
On my way around, see ya. Alright. <laughs> oh, I didn't check how much the amount was. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we have 25 XP. Alright. So I'm gonna show you what happens when we have Heart of Darkness. Perhaps the most reviled but effective ability serpentine's offers. The Kendra may remove her still beating heart, making them nearly indestructible. While the heart is removed, all but one blood point will remain, making other disciplines use impossible. Upon removal, the heart will remain in the character's inventory for safekeeping, but ending the discipline will put the heart back in. Blood loss will cease while the heart is missing. Alright. Uh, let me actually just get it up. Yeah, this is a masquerade violation. This is a pretty Ooh, look at that! That's a big buff. Let's cause some carnage, shall we? Uh, cops, please. Cops, come on, come on. Cops. Thank you. Cops? Okay, I'm not 100 percent invulnerable, but I'm Oh no. Ow! Oh, oh god. Okay, if <laughs> Okay, it's actually a you know what? You know what? You know what? It's actually pretty good. Oh no, I can't. I'm um, thinking. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty neat. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. The problem. So I would have to make sure my uh, bashing and lethal and aggro, you know, it was higher, but through other means, like stamina. Or, that's not bad. That's not a bad ability. But let's do this instead. God, it's it's that bug. Yeah, it's it's, it's screwed. Hopefully, this will fix it. Okay, we're we're okay, we're okay. But yeah, so this is going to give me a plus two in persuasion, which makes it nine, and a plus three to seduction and coercion. And it's going to be. Really great. Evening. I bought that gift. Can I have it now? Here. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. No, he doesn't. Thanks for the gift, Isaac. Okay, so this gives us uh, a blood heal. Gazing upon this mummified fetish, you feel a rush of vitality into your undead flesh. Wariness allows you to maintain blood heal 25% longer than normal. So that's nice. Pretty useful. Now, I'm going to be honest. I feel like the hard darkness one is actually a pretty decent discipline. I actually thought it was literally god mode, but it's not. It's just a higher thing. I think you would still need to have the highest armor and perhaps some more bashing. Uh, you know, like more stamina and you know, some defense for it to really be really effective. And of course, any artifacts that give you some, you know, defense if you, you need it. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Like, I don't know if I'll get it myself because I, for me, for it to be even more effective, I really need access to my other discipline because my goodness, if I had that, and my presence, it would be utterly amazing. But, but since I don't, it's not a real point to me. And besides, I like using my other disciplines. I like using my, um, my ass, uh, was it resemblance form? Uh, semblance, asps, semblance form. It's really cool in that regard. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'm not usually out this late. Really? If I dropped in tonight to see 
Look at the less balls that's where I saw you. <laughs> Me? I'm ready to go get back if that's what it takes to go back if it takes if that's what it takes to take your calls off. <laughs> How about a kiss before I go? This is, um, terrible. I swear. <laughs> I'm sorry. By the way, all these lines are... They're not from Bloodlines 1, they're, they're from this mod. I'm sorry. I just wanted to tell you that. I just wanted anyone to know about this. The, the lines in Bloodlines 1, the, the, the pickup lines are better than this. Or at least not as cringy to me. I mean, they're meant to be a joke, by the way. I'm just saying. Oh man, we really uh, helped ourselves here because. Yeah, we got seven now. Yeah, hopefully, uh, having five presents will help us nicely when dealing with our enemies. Oh wow, it's 100 bucks! Okay, that's why it's eight. So when we have to deal with eight, it's 100 bucks. Alright, well, we got our final hub. Oh, we got a nice lot of money. We could, and we still got more here because we could sell some of these and still get more. It's insane. I still got more money coming. Like, if you save up your money enough, uh, there's so many, and like, I'm buying stuff I probably don't even really need, but holy shoot, this is so useful. All right, let's get the final email. Oops. All right, final network hub. Okay, this is the big one. Kuei Jin, front, front in Chinatown, called Kamazaki Zen. Yeah, I know it's Japanese, don't ask. They got a heavy duty security system. Recon's coming. Once you're in, find the server and activate the hub. One more thing, they have a vault where they keep software, etc. You better break into it and take something. Put them off the scent. This one could be can be messy. It's your ass. The key to the front door is in your mailbox. Our inside man put a file called Hooligan on one of the office's terminals. It's a virus. Find it and execute it. This will shut down the power and allow you to get past the first real security door. I never got any blueprints to the inner sanctum, so once you're past the first door, you're on your own to find the server and in the vault. Good luck. And you're gonna probably need some actual, again, better hacking skills, which is probably great if you're, you know, playing as a hacker build. Which I'm not, so I'm just gonna grab my notes. And I'm flicking the wrong page, sorry. Wrong way. There we go. Got the right thing. I will try to show you what you're, you know, what you're supposed to do, what, what your numbers are, in case you want some notes for that. Okay, we got a key. So yeah, I do believe we've hacked all the terminals that I'm aware of. And got so much XP, and quite a nice lot of money, too. And we've also, um, hacked a lot of the boxes. Again, nice lot of money. We haven't, not hacked, uh, unlocked. We haven't... We won't be able to unlock every single box unless I get, you know, like some more dexterity and security, but that's unlikely um, in my case. Because that's not really my goal for this character. Happy. I might be able to spare 8 XP for some dexterity so I can hack, well not hack, uh, the unlock Strauss's box, but I don't think I really want to. Again, I really do think they should put a terminal inside the Chantry. And look, so you need about seven, um, I do believe seven, seven inspection for that. All right, let me just go and grab everything first. And again, there's a lot more, there's a lot more stuff if you have higher have a higher inspection. I'm just showing what's available here. Hmm. There's a man over there. 
just gonna save and see what he wants. I'm crazy! You don't want to know what I would do to you. Oh, but you don't know what I want, what I do, I could do to you. But don't you want, uh, yeah. but don't you want to know what I could do to you? You know who runs this place? You think you can take out everybody here? Huh, tough guy? Come to me. So we could either persuade him, scare him, I don't know. I, I don't know if he was like, <sighs> you were meant to break into a fight. What the heck is that noise? That's really weird. It's like kind of like a glitchy noise. That's weird. Anyway. Alright. Okay. So, more ammo for us, but hey, if you want to line up Petra, that's, that's right there. Now, I'm just gonna check here. Because I don't think it's going to be here, because I don't think I have enough inspection for it, but. Oh! Oh no! It is here! Elder Vitae! Woohoo! So we got Elder Vitae, even though we have, uh, seven inspection. That's really nice. Sweet. So that's where some Elder Vitae is. I will meet, uh, bleh. Okay. Move. What? Move. Okay. So, down here... What's that? Uh, is a gun. Sweet. We'll be selling that. Like a ring here, golden ring, handy. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well, you know. I like having my security up because uh, it's just useful when um, you have to. I totally forgot to go to the shop. Well, I'll do that. All right, so we don't have to worry about not killing them because uh, it's kind of hard to do. You could do it if you want to. Alright. Hooligan. So, power. Let's see. Okay, so that's enough. So. Hooligan. So, okay, so the power is off for about under 10 minutes. Come on. Well, I guess I can't freaking do that. Alright, so. Next up. <sighs> we need a password for this door. So. You never look around. Email. Waterloo. Minster, you are so ugly. Even fat secretary spit on your head. Bit, spit on your head on head. Ha! And I'll kill you, squishy in slaughter grudge tonight. You hear me? Fuck, fuck, Binster. Shinto. Okay. You freaking noob. Give up the game, Bucky bitch. Your vaplication val val ain't gonna help you with Warbringer lodged in your skull. I. Fucking never fuck with clan death gurgle bucky bitch. Okay, uh, I guess these are gamers, I suppose. Well, I'm a gamer too, but I don't behave like that. At least I try not to. Ugh. Email. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you stupid. How many time? How many times? Have I sent it to you? Code it. The code is forty-five sixty-seven. Add up numbers and get you I, get you IQ. And only way you kill me is camp. Fuck. Uh, fucking Uber Cannon. 
me and <laughs> dumb nuts gonna smoke you you ass take Ari Zay stealer and shove in place where no sunshine you lick nummy nuts muffin you got it okay whatever I'm, I'm this <laughs> people are playing I guess online games on um on company time I suspect unfortunately that's locked I, I bet you can't unlock any ever means yeah so okay great uh fantastic um anyway so let's uh, let's open the vault oh uh, wrong way and after that we'll okay uh, oh oh hi oh oh i managed to unlock this it's great uh open so we have the vault let's uh let's rob the vault that's what we're supposed to do okay so we got server logs and security tapes Nice. Feels like it was a break-in. Okay. Uh, net security. Let's see if we can hack it. No, we can't. <laughs> okay, so you need eight for this one. Uh, that's okay. Because I know what it is. Nirvana. Oh, no, I didn't spell it right. My apologies. I'm still not spelling it right. What am I? Na. Fana. Sorry. I'm just bad. <laughs> Shreknet Hubbard. You'd best do your job and get the fuck out of there, newbie. Tick tock. Need help? If so, find the office of a guy named Rob Neisler. I'm logged in there and we'll see what I can do for you. Otherwise, you're on your own. Thanks, kid. And take care of yourself out there. Midnick. Okay. Well, we only got about five minutes left, so. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a. By the way, if you want to know, you can read the, the little plaques outside. Mitnick! Rescue! You made it. Sweaty a little there. Relax. I'll open the vent door behind you. Thanks, kid. Take care of yourself out there. Yay! All right. Woohoo! We did it. Finish the quest. Fantastic. All right. We still got the gargoyle to take care of, but I can't really do it yet until I get a particular item that will give me more XP. But first, before I end this episode. I think we should get some nice new threads. And also, I kind of want to actually uh, put a thing for my gun. My new gun. There. Oh, it's like a herbal shop. Hey! Welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? Uh, you don't seem like the type to spit. Sorry, to sell herbal remedies. Selling remedies is honest work. I came to America after discharge from Chinese um, uh, herbal remedies forces to help aging parents with store. Definitely, I am now American citizen. God bless the allegiance flag! Come on, I know you were in the military. <coughs> um. <coughs> no, you feel about guns? Chinese invented gunpowder. Yes, I know guns. Gun? Put on, please. These are good remedies for many problems. No credit cards. Excellent. Let's see what you got. So, sell this. And this. You could probably keep this. It's actually a pretty decent gun. Okay, this is 660. Fantastic. Alright, let's see. And they got. This is actually a pretty good gun. <laughs> but I want to get this for free. But this is actually pretty good. I was actually quite impressed with it when my uh, last playthrough, when I was playing as a Salubri. And the flamethrower is nice, but you can get one for free if you have Inspection 8 in Hollywood. I'll show you sometime when I can. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Ooh. Let's do it out in the... Well. Let's do it outside. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Ooh, this has a bit of a snakeskin texture. Oh, this looks really cool. 
I love it. Fantastic. And we have free XP, but I'm gonna save it for uh, probably like six, so I can have more seduction. But we will leave it here for now. And, and we're gonna finally go in and talk to Meng Xiao and ask her if she's seen where the where Barbaris is at all. Until then. <laughs>